हाय एवरीवन फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु कुड नॉट अटेंड द जूम क्लास अगर आप जूम क्लास अटेंड नहीं कर पाए सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू यू योर साइंस वर्क फॉर टुडे uh first of all uh, you i have sent the side word passage on the group uh, there is a poem to read is poem ko likhne ke baad you have to answer these questions okay um uh, these questions are about uh, the second question especially describe a time when you felt angry kisi ek time ke bare mein likho jab aapko gussa aaya tha okay and the th next question is what did you do when you were angry aapne jab aapko jab gussa aaya tha to aapne kya kiya tha and if you were the author's friend jisne poem likha agar uske dost hote to aap kya karte taki uh, so that you could help him okay try and answer these four questions um next uh, we are studying how to adaptations in animals theek okay? hai animals mein kya kya adaptations hote hai that is what we are learning today um as you can see in this image animals are all over the world everywhere they are there in many different places in many different environments whether it's hot whether it's cold animals or plants are always visible but these animals are not the same everywhere right they look differently they live differently they have different characteristics this is because uh, they have adapted to that environment so we've been talking about adaptations a lot we know that adaptations are features that help an animal survive in its environment and now there are two different types of adaptations one is physical adaptation in which there are changes in the body if there are changes in the body of the animal that is called a physical adaptation and behavioral adaptation is when there is a, a change in how the animal uh, lives like what does it do to survive the things that he does to survive those are called behavioral adaptations uh, so physical adaptations can be in terms of uh, body covering like fur feathers scale it could be about the colors like patterns and uh maybe it could be about the beak uh, uh, body parts like uh, birds have beaks uh, deer have antlers some animals have large ears some uh, animals like uh, tigers and lions have claws with which they can hunt uh, there are also animals which have a lot of poison in them or some sprays etc to give some defense all right um and there are two special adaptations that are called camouflage and mimicry that we are going to learn about today um if you see this image you can see there are three different types of animals that are living here who are blended with the environment that means they look very close to what the environment environment looks like okay so when an animal uh, does this so if the color or the pattern of an animal helps it blend with with its surrounding that is called a camouflage okay uh, it helps the animal find food and also hide from its enemies um now the next thing is mimicry mimicry is when the, there are changes in an animal's body previously if you see camouflage me animal ke body mein koi changes nahi hai it is it just goes and sits in a place where it can blend in with the environment so say suppose if i wanted to camouflage now uh, mai koi bhi aise jagah mein jaati jahan pe uh, aisa aise kapde ka pattern hota kya koi kuch blue hota ya blue or white ka mix hota uske samne agar mai ja ke khadi ho jaati to that would be camouflage but mimicry is when they they look or sound like other animals uh, this is also something that make helps them hide so if you look at the first picture first picture mein do grasshopper hai ek normal grasshopper hai aur ek grasshopper hai that looks like leaf so mimicry mein there is change in the animal's body usne apni body ko hi change kar liya hai taki it looks like the surrounding uh, so if i wanted to mimic this plant i would have to change my body to look like this plant okay now uh, these are some perf really good examples of what mimicry looks like if you see this is a leaf insect it mimics a leaf all right uh, it looks like a leaf and here this uh, animal looks like a dried leaf this is a stick insect which looks very closely uh, to what a stick actually looks like in life um 
so i would now want you to think that um, this is what an army info, uh, uniform looks like all right why do you think uh, people in the army wear clothes like this how does it help them and what sort of adaptation is this in nature okay um, next we're going to look at some behavioral adaptations so when um, in behavioral adaptation some things are learned कुछ चीजें कोई एनिमल सीखता है ताकि वो सरवाइव कर सके एंड अदर थिंग्स आर इंस्टिंक्ट इंस्टिंक्ट मतलब जो आप जन्म से यू यू हैव लर्न फ्रॉम बर्थ तो जब से उसका जन्म हुआ तब से उसको पता है ये ये चीजें उसको करनी है टू सरवाइव ओके वो कोई इसको सिखाता नहीं है दे नो इट फ्रॉम बिफोर एंड दैट इज वॉट एन इंस्टिंग सो लेट्स लुक एट अ फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स सो द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज हाइबर हाइबरनेशन क्या है जब कोई बहुत ठंडी जगह होती है तो वहां पे कुछ एनिमल्स होते हैं जो बहुत दिनों के लिए सो जाते हैं ओके दे गो टू अ स्टेट ऑफ स्लीप फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम ओके ताकि वो उस ठंडे वेदर से बच सके और ये उनका इंस्टिंग है वो खुद से ही सो जाते हैं कोई बोलता नहीं है कि तुम सो जाओ और सो दिस इज एन हाइबरनेशन नेक्स्ट इज माइग्रेशन न माइग्रेशन इज ऑल्सो एन इंस्टिंगटिव बिहेवियर माइग्रेशन इज मतलब कुछ एनिमल्स अगर गर्मी का मौसम होते हैं तो वो कई ठंडी जगह में चले जाते हैं ओके अगर उनको गर्मी सहन नहीं होती है और अगर कोई ठंडी जगह में है तो वो ठंडी जगह से गर्मी गर्म जगह में आ जाते हैं ओके सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सीजन दीज एनिमल्स मूव अराउंड सो दैट इज कॉल्ड माइग्रेशन so what i want you to think and write is where would you go for a vacation in the summer agar aapko summer mein kahi jaane ko mila okay akele aap kaha jaoge aur kyu okay uh, next let's look at look at two examples of adaptations in animals first is the um, camel okay so now i want you to look at the camel and see um, camels have long eyelashes they have hair in their ears their nostrils can be closed nostrils matlab ye naak ka jo chhed hai wo band kar sakte hai wo log they have a hump and their legs are really big okay so why do you think these things are there okay so why uh, why does a camel have long eyelashes they have long eyelashes so that they can prevent the sand from getting into their eyes okay similarly their nostrils can be closed so that no sand enters through their nose because desert mein bahut sare sand hote hai bahut sare bahut dhool hoti hai bahut hawa hoti hai so these eyelashes and these nose uh, nostrils uh, help them to prevent the entry of sand into their uh, eyes and nose नेक्स्ट इन द हम्प ऑफ द कैमल जो हम्प है जो बैक इतना बड़ा है उसके अंदर कैमल का देर इज फैट फैट स्टोर्ड है ओके तो वो फैट से क्या होता है कि इट्स नॉट वॉटर उसके अंदर फैट होता है सो दैट द कैमल कैन यूज दिस लेटर फॉर एनर्जी वो इन फैट्स को ये चर्बी को यूज कर सकता है फॉर एनर्जी ओके द फाइनल थिंग इज इट हैज थिक लिम्प्स लिप्स एंड कैमल के लिप्स बहुत थिक होते हैं ताकि अगर कोई प्लांट uh, को वो खा रहा है जो लाइक कैक्टस एंड ऑल क्योंकि डेजर्ट में ऐसे ही प्लांट्स मिलते हैं तो इट कैन ईट इट विदाउट फीलिंग एनी पेन ओके फाइनली वी हैव एडेप्टेशन इन पोलर बेयर्स सो पोलर बेयर में क्या होता है इट हैज वाइट फर उसका फर वाइट होता है सो दैट कैन ब्लेंड इन विद द इन्वायरमेंट सो दैट इज अट ऑफ कैमो फ्लाज There is something called blubber. So polar bear ke uh, body mein ek fat ka layer hai, okay? Uh, with uh, through which they can keep warm. They have very wide and large paws. Unke hath pe bahut bade hote hai, so that they can walk on snow. Unko snow mein chalne ke liye zaruri hota hai. And they have nostrils that can close. So polar bear pani ke andar bhi jata hai, right? So taaki wo um, uske naak ke through pani na guze, so they have nostrils that can close nostrils means jo naak ka chheda hai all right um so uh, there are some thinking questions that i want you to write why will we not find a polar bear living in a desert hame polar bear desert mein kyun nahi milega if a polar bear was adapted to live in a desert agar koi polar bear uh, desert mein live karne lag gaya to what do you think uska fur ka color kya hoga um uh, kya uske paas bahut thick fur hoga aur wo kya khayega okay um 
Now I've sent you an adaptation game. मैंने आपको दो games भेजे अपने group में. They're really really interesting. Try them out. You will learn and as well as enjoy. Okay, this is your art activity for today. Um, for your origami and recycling activity, go to YouTube, search for things you want to make. खुद से choose करो आपको क्या बनाना है and make something and share on the group. Okay, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please ask me later. Okay.